Yes. Okay. Are y'all ready? Because I got my wine. I got my wine. I hope this is a good angle. Are y'all ready? Can y'all see? I hope y'all can see everything. I hope y'all can see everything. My auntie is in the building. How you doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want y'all to tell me, do you want to talk about lace frontals or you want to talk about headband wigs first? Because I got a freshly washed one. So if y'all want to know, I mean, y'all can tell me which one you want to do. She said, I find, oh, where did you get it from? Tell me where you got it from. Because I want it now. Just some sweet technical. Ooh, look at the look at her. Isn't doesn't she look good? Doesn't she look good? Ooh. We gotta talk about her. Okay, so I see lace front. Somebody mentioned lace front. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. So let me get you. Oh. We gotta, we gotta make sure y'all can see her. This, make sure when you get yourself a wig that you have a canvas blockhead, you have a tripod, all of that stuff. So can you see the curls? But let me talk to you first about this one. So this is the flattest I have ever gotten a wig. Can do y'all see that? This is the flattest I have ever gotten a wig. And if you're stepping into the building, make sure you let me know where you're from. Give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so look at this. Super flat, so the name of this unit, this is Alexis. So she is a longer unit. This is in the silky texture. You could definitely get her in a yakky texture. I actually prefer Alexis in a yakky texture but the silky texture is working for me could, could you could you see me and with the red lipstick this is a whole vibe i hope do you see this? this is gorgeous tuning in from toronto yes how you doing so okay with lace frontals y'all know you know you if you okay so true tea if you're someone who you don't want your hairline out okay maybe you have like a little bit of thinning perhaps you have alopecia listen i understand all hair care concerns that's valid so let me tell you 13 by 6 lace frontals are your best bet because they offer you coverage from ear to ear so when you see something that says 13 by 6 lace frontal 13 by four and a half or 13 by five you're getting a lace frontal that's going to go from ear to ear, okay? Okay, so boom, boom. And a lace frontal, just so y'all know, lace frontals have tracks at the back. So you can't part this, you know what I'm saying? Because there are tracks. So if you are someone who wanted, if you want your wig to be like unclockable, look into full lace wigs. But full lace wigs are typically more expensive. So keep that in mind but this is alexis i have the link for alexis in the description box i put her under lace front wig so y'all know so this is this is she's long look at okay okay do we like that do we like that okay so again if you are interested in this particular look this is alexis so i want y'all to get into it this robe is everything yes girl this is my holiday robe one of my favorites y'all sold it out i already did the video it sold out like it may be available but when i checked last time it was sold out we got los angeles in the building so let me show you some of the tricks that i did to get this unit super flat because do y'all have your um hot combs your hot combs we're gonna talk about the hot combs so this is my favorite hot comb i actually just purchased another one because this one is beat up but let me just tell you something look at this see when you're using your hot comb how are you using it and one of the things that i noticed when you wear a wig cap your unit gets super flat so maybe think about wearing a wig cap and then when you go in 
it, the back edge you got to use the back edge of the hot comb because if you focus too much on using the teeth like if you go in like this you're going to create an indentation in the wig so focus on using the curved back edge you get what i'm saying you see how i keep it on an angle right it's girl it's skin and then you know what let me tell you something you know what i'm saying you gotta be real careful but after you do your plucking we got South Carolina in the house. I'm reading the comments, y'all. But, you know, you got to use that back edge, and that's going to slick everything down so you could put it behind the ear and you're not clockable. Because once you pluck it, you customize it, and you lay it. Who going to who gonna check you? Who going to check you? Okay. So, yes, I have the high comb need double prong clips. So, that's a good question. I mean, that's a good thing. So, this is why I want all of y'all to have your double prong clips. So look at this, your double prong clips, okay? Because when you're installing your unit, you don't want the hair in your face. So what the double prong clips do is they help to keep the hair back. That's really good for setting your unit in place. But also, you want to invest in alligator clips. Again, I have all of the products in the description box. So when you get your, you need, these are alligator clips. They're very different than the standard duck clips. Let me show you the difference. Oh, sorry. So a duck clip, so it has the little indentations, the little teeth, but it doesn't help to grip the hair as best as the alligator clip because this has an indentation, it has a curvature about it, and it also has more of an angular kind of shape to it. So this best keeps the hair out of the way. Oh, let me, let me, let me. So you see. You see, and so when you're styling it or when you're installing your wig, you have your alligator clip and your double prong clip. If you are a beginner and you're just getting comfortable with installing your wigs, I just repurchased a 100 count of double prong clips because I love these. And since I'm going to start selling wigs again, you know, I got to, I got to get ready. But you might want to invest. OK, so let me read the questions. Hey, girl, love you in your style. Las Vegas Nevada is in the building. Thank you. I have to get some of each. I have trouble laying down the front with the baby hair getting stuck and glued down with it. So here's the thing. That's why I said get into double prong clips. Again, we got 120 people up in here. You know what? If you appreciate this live, hit that thumbs up button, okay? But when you are installing your wig, if you are a beginner, if you're having trouble with the hair um, getting caught into your glue, into your gel or anything, you have to make sure that the hair is tucked back because when you make it so that the hair is tucked back when you go into position your unit everything is already out of the way you see that it's a lot cleaner and then you shouldn't be pulling any of the hair that you want to do for your adult swoops or your baby hairs you shouldn't pull any of that down until your unit is positioned in place and it has adhered to your skin so that's another tip so when you're installing your wig, it should look like this. Everything should be away from your face as you are positioning your unit into place. Let me see. Can I install my synthetic wig with glue as well? Of course. Of course. Um, and so one of the glues that I recommend, so this is the Kiss Almighty Bond Lace Glue. So I just started using this. If you want long-term wear, I definitely think you should look into this. So make sure that you check that description box. And when you buy this, don't just buy the glue, buy the remover. I'm gonna do a follow-up video to show you guys why you need the glue as well, okay? Hello, beautiful Karen from Detroit, Michigan in the house. Okay, how you doing? We got Detroit in the house. Does anybody have their wine? Because I know I got mine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful queen, always slaying. Thank you so much, Roddy. Roddy Reed. I tried my first lace. I tried my first lace wig. Had trouble gluing my hair my hair down. What is the best the best lace glue? Now let me. T so, are you sure you want to get into glue, or 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 do you want to use a spray? Because if you're a beginner, if you're not looking for super long term wear, let me tell you something. This right here. This is in a thumbnail. This is in the description box. Can I just tell you something? If you don't have this, you need to get it. This is one of the best sprays that you can use. It's linked in the description box. If you are someone who, you know, you want to have a nice seamless melted look, but at the same time, you don't want it's like super long wear, but you can refresh it on an every other day basis. 
you need to get into the insta high hold okay mm. okay let me see Detroit is representing and absolutely adore you. Thank you so much. Good evening, sending love from St. Croix. Yes, I appreciate you, Nisha. Love you. We want a podcast and an online store for me. Y'all are so cute. Thank you so much for the uh, encouragement. So the next thing, because I saw something about, I saw something about moose. If you are someone who, you know what I'm saying? When I do my swoops, because I don't call them baby hairs. I call them like adult swoops because, you know, I'm, I'm almost 30. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't be with the baby hairs. This right here. This is in the description box. If you don't get anything else from this live, you need to buy this. The the sticker is $3. It's $3. It's 3 you can't you can't go wrong with this if you want glueless like i'm talking about glueless you don't want any gel you don't want any spray use this i did a full install with just this glueless method and it works like a charm it's everything now glueless methods are not like glueless methods that include mousse they're not for long-term use that's for someone who is really working to protect their edges they're working on just trying to make sure that they have a nice slave. You know, their hairline is on point, but they want to be able to take it off at night. This is the best thing. So check that description box because if nothing else, if you want glueless using a mousse product, this is it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So y'all should already know if you're on, you know, if you're looking at wig tutorials, you've seen these. Okay. So I used this today for my install. Now, one of the reasons why I love using this one is because, one, it's the water-resistant version. So if you're someone with a little bit of sweat going on, this is still really good. But you know what? When you don't want to be caught up with a blow dryer, this is the best product because you can lay it on using like a little spatula, a popsicle stick. Use a super thin layer. Allow it to get a little bit tacky. Wait about like one, one and a half minutes. And then position your unit in place. This is This is... Don't sleep on this. And let me show you the difference in the consistency between the yellow and the black bottle. Because a lot of people have questions. The water resistant version, it looks different. Like when you actually look at it, it has it has a white color to it. It is opaque. It is not transparent. So this is what the yellow version looks like. But let me show you the Invincible Styling Gel. This is clear. So you see... So just so y'all can see, okay, so you got clear for the black and then you have a white color for the yellow. Ooh. Okay, so which one would you, you're probably like, which one is going to allow for the best hold, the best install? Maybe you want to go swimming. If you want to go swimming with these, I'm going to tell you right now, make sure that you have your edges tied down because you know what I'm saying? You just have them tied down because these are not for like purposes of like super long wear and it's not going to be some like a product where you have um extended wear because once that water hit us even though it's water resistant if you go swimming and you like permeate the layer of the product it's going to lift up your wig is going to lift up but the best one for like you don't want to use a blow dryer you just want to hurry up and go and you want it to stick down like mine this is the best if you want a cleaner more seamless look this is really, let's say you wear bob wigs, short, sweet, to the point. This is a really good product. Okay, let me see. Let me wipe that off my hands. Let me, okay. So, let me see. Did I answer, did I answer the questions? Am I, am I hitting everything? Yes, I was about to ask for glueless tips. I'm going to look for that video. Yes. Oh, no, the glueless video hasn't come out yet. So, it's coming, girl, when you see it, it's going to be everything. It's gonna be everything. I just can't wait. So should we start talking about the headband wig? Cause you know, I you know these curls. I know you see these curls. I had to give you a straight look with Alexis. This is a lace front version where you get the thirteen by six, okay? The thirteen by six, and then we have the headband wig. Boom! You see that? Look at look at the curls. Look at the density. Can we talk about it? Look, come on. This is, I just co-washed her. And if you're, if you're new to my channel, one thing that the people know about, we use the cheap conditioners because it works. If you have curly units, if you need to hydrate your unit, you want maximum hydration, you want to bring life back to it, 
don't sleep. I put this in the description box because a lot of people sleep on this. You know, they might think, oh, suave, nobody's checking for them. Your wig is going to thank you. And the next best thing, if you don't like suave, say you're an Aussie girl, you need to get this. Okay? You need to get this. If you have a curly wig, this amazing so the reason why i love this one because i used it to deep condition this overnight so i deep conditioned this unit overnight rinsed it out okay rinsed it out like an hour before this live and look at where we're at this has almond shea butter almond shea butter this is where it's at okay so okay let's say you want you're interested in the headband wigs. You're like, headband wigs look like half wigs. And that's the truth. Headband wigs look a lot like half wigs. But they offer this little material at the front. This is where you have the headband and you have the attachment at the back. You have the Velcro attachment where you can adjust it to suit your suit your fancy. Okay? Aussie is the truth. Yes, tell the people. Aussie is the truth. It's 200 people up in here. I, let's make sure you give a thumbs up if you appreciate this content because, you know, I'm, I'm about to drop some gems because I'm going to style this. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see some things, okay? So, this unit is Maria. So, this is Maria. She is a curly headband wig. Now, you're like, who would wear a headband wig? Like, who's checking for headband wigs? But the truth is... A lot of people are checking for headband wigs and the, one of the reasons why headband wigs became so popular and because you know why everybody is every wig company is pushing it and my first wig was like one of the first to like jump on the bandwagon was because lace it became very high demand but you know with c19 and everything happened in manufacturing and production lines and processes were like kind of under you know kind of like kind of like you suppress like basically they weren't able to proceed with production there's a lot of limitations the number of people you can have in a particular space so you have to kind of like cut down on your employee base and then it slows your overall process down so you got more people wanting lace but the production itself has slowed down so you know what i'm saying and then because of that you have to raise the price of lace wigs because it's in high demand, but they can't meet the, you know, the demand. So the supply is different from the demand. You get what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people wanted to know about why, why what's, what's going on with the cost. But headbands are, headband wigs are really good for people who want to protect their edges, who want to break from lace fronts, or people who just throw and go, throw and go. That's what this is about, throw and go. And let me just tell you something. If you ask me, because the reason why I'm doing this particular um the reason why i'm doing this particular headband wig the most versatility with this because you can wear it curly you can do a twist out on it you could do a braid out on it you could blow it out you could curl it you understand what i'm saying more versatility with maria so don't think okay i got a curly um headband wig. i only have to wear her curly no blow dry her do some wand curls I'm giving you the pick, get some wine curls in here. Okay, let me see. Will you be putting it on your head? I am gonna attempt to, yes, period. With this lace front wig on, I am gonna attempt to put this headband wig on because I feel like I can do it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can do it. So, I'm gonna start styling her. Now, one of the products that I'm going to use, I don't like this product. This is not a product that I recommend to lay your, um, your hairline down this is not this is not the product for that so the rs olive oil wrap set mousse to get these curls popping you want to invest in this now i use a lot of this you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna be super heavy-handed but this is everything so we're gonna go in with this and i'm gonna follow up with a little bit of jojoba oil because a lot of people sleep when you apply mousse to curly hair hit it with some oil because you because well, this has a soft hold to it and if you don't want the hold and you want the hair to continue to volumize and maximize itself add a little bit of jojoba oil a lightweight oil coconut oil not so much jojoba oil olive oil um you know something cute i want to have been wig but they cost just as much as a regular wig and you know what that's the case that can be the case so are you interested in a straighter texture or would you do curly let me know like your thoughts on that because then with curlier textures you're going to find that sometimes there's typically a higher price point especially when you're dealing like in terms of like malaysian curly hair which my first wig is very much um known for 
So you see, I'm going in. I'm going in. We got the. Let me move. Let's see. This is Maria. Okay. Links to Maria are in the description box. Okay. Boom. Look at. Come on. Let me. And if you're doing. Ooh. Let me. Ooh. What happened? When I put this wig in. Let me get my um. I don't like how that happened. I gotta. I gotta keep it like that. When you're dealing with mousse and you're dealing with curly wigs, you need a detangling brush. If you don't have a detangling brush, I need you to go get one. Stop what you're doing right now and go add it to your cart. Because this is going to accentuate and further define the curls. You see what I... You see what I... You see what I did? It's, it's giving... I didn't even do a lot of work. I didn't even do a lot of work. What colors would you want Maria to come in? Definitely let me know because I would love your feedback. At this time, I believe it only comes in the natural color, which you see here. But let me tell you something. We depending on how y'all you know work this, we can get her in a, a different color. Burgundy. You know what? I think they do have um a burgundy curly wig. It may not be named Maria, but check out their website. Check out their headband wig section because it's a problem okay it's good and you always want to make sure that when you apply the product because you can apply it directly to the hair okay apply that product you want to coat it and one thing that i see a lot people don't get under you want to get under the hair as well so make sure that when you are applying this product turn it over and run it through run it through run it through and let me get, let me get my detangling brush because she, she lives. Come on. Who saw that? That's what curly wigs are about. You understand what I'm saying? When you do that, I need a thumbs up just off that right there. I need a thumbs up just off. Come on. You see that? And I didn't have this wig for a long time, okay? This is a throw and go wig. This is, I'm on my way to the grocery store. I don't feel like doing my hair. I'm gonna just put her on. Come on. I don't know. I don't know what else I could do to show y'all. This is not a new wig. This is not a new wig. I don't want anybody to think this is a new wig. Okay, boom. Come on. Come on. This is human hair. This is human hair. My first wig sells human hair wigs, lace wigs, lace closure wigs, lace frontal wigs, headband wigs. They specialize in human hair wigs. Okay, boom. Now let me show you because we're going to compare. We are going to compare. So this is side with product. Boom. Maria with product. I'm going to turn her around. Maria with no product. This is very much a look. Don't, this is a look. This is, I only really have time to deep condition my wig. I rinsed her out. I'm going to let her air dry and I'm going to throw her on in the morning. See, I set the scene for you, right? Okay. But like this, this is when you want definition. This is when you want to, you want to, this is when you like, you know what? I feel like doing my makeup today. I feel like getting a little bit cute, putting a little eyebrows on. You know a little vibe beautiful 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 this is super low maintenance and this is incredibly beginner friendly this is for people who have hair care concerns hair care concerns are a huge thing and so these are allowing you guys you know if you are someone who struggles with alopecia you have thinning at the crown you have thinning near your hairline this is going to give you that versatility and you do not have to wear this headband wig with this black band showing you can jazz it up you can jazz it up okay boom and all i did was use mousse mousse Come, mousse mousse ors olive oil in the description box do not play let me add a little bit because i need my curls to pop okay i need it to pop okay look at it and just with my fingers this is not a lot of work but if you want to take it further use that detangling brush to really accentuate and define those curls let me read these comments oh, let me see Ooh, this 
what texture would you recommend for 4c hair if you want some leave out so i'm thinking kinky curly kinky coily so those are the names that they designate for textures that are a little bit more tighter and you want them to match 4c hair so they also have the um kinky straight wigs so that's also a big thing i actually have a kinky straight unit with my first wig you can check that out you can search k on my first wig and all my units come up but with this one um i mean with the headband wigs look into names like kinky coily kinky straight kinky curly so those again are for the 4b and upward kinky straight not so much yakky i'm not the yakky i want kinky straight because that that offers a little bit more texture and volume that better mimics natural hair natural highly textured hair I just purchased after watching your headband wig video. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yes, we love that. And let me know how your order goes. I like when you guys follow up with me and let me know your thoughts um, with your purchase. Are you satisfied? Because let me tell you, if there's a problem, send me a message on Instagram. We, we like to make sure the customers are satisfied. Come on. Uh, I'm getting ready to put this on my head because I know this is what y'all came for. I'm going to put this on my head with a lace front lace my wig on my head let me see thank you so much i don't like yaki as well there you go. yaki you know what this wig this wig is called alexis alexis also comes in a yaki texture and she is gorgeous so you you i like alexis in a yaki texture she is oh top tier okay top tier big big vibes okay somebody said thumbs up the video yes thank you thank you for um for letting the people know because you know i love to give the gems okay let's see let's get her together this this pump is a little you know it's got a lot of pressure so it just takes a little bit more more arm you know more arm stuff okay let me show y'all so y'all can see oh now, let me just tell you something. If you get a curly headband wig that is longer, so I'm going to let you know, if you get a curly headband wig that is longer, you should anticipate some, some shedding. Don't ever think that a curly wig is not supposed to shed. Now, I do believe, just based on my experience, that my first wig does offer a better grade of curly hair, but at the same time, because this unit is long, you can expect some shedding. Look <laughs> You can expect some shedding. But I'm going to go through because what's what's in the detangling brush is not a lot. I'm going to show exactly what's in here. So I don't have no problems with that. Let me see. Do you diffuse curls? You know what? That's a great question. So I actually do not have a diffuser. I think a diffuser is great um, for those of you who don't have time to air dry, see me, I give myself time for it. Once I apply my mousse or my curling cream, cream, I give it time to air dry. And so that's good enough for me. But if you want to further maximize or expedite the, you know, the drying time, you can indeed use the diffuser. So what a diffuser will do in that instance, alongside a detangling brush. So what that's going to do is it's going to, even further define your curls and further accentuate your curls but again it helps to expedite the um drying process so and it's going to give you that volumized kind of look you know a little bit more mousse and then and then i'm done a little bit more mousse what do we okay boom boom there we go okay she's good she's good should i try her on so let me talk about the construction because again, we know that the unit I'm wearing is a 13 by six. So that means I'm getting coverage from ear to ear. Okay, this is all lace and the lace extends into the crown. So all the way into six inches deep into the crown, right? Okay, let me get the clips out. That wig is beautiful. Okay, check the description. Maria is so this is alexis alexis is the lace front wig this is maria okay we're about to do like a little mashup it's gonna be alexa and maria so let me see 
Okay. And make sure make sure you get your, yourself a canvas blockhead. Okay. Let me see. Now let me see. I took it off. How am I gonna do this? So this is what I'm gonna do. This this is you know this is real life. You if you are getting a headband wig. You should be able to just put it in a bun and go, okay? Put it in a bun and go. So I put it, I'm going to put it in a bun. I'm going to pin it using a bobby pin. We're going to see. I think I can do this. I'm going to pin it. Okay. We got it. I got to pin it a little bit better. Or you can use a wig cap, but I don't know where one is, so. Let me see. Okay, so that's my little makeshift bun. We about to put her on. I see the vision. So look at this. So this is the headband wig. This has three combs right and then it has an adjustable band at the nape along with another comb now one thing you could do because what I, what you know what i sometimes do i will put on a wig grip okay y'all like what is she doing but i'm showing you what you could be doing when you install your hip and wig put on a little wig grip okay boom let me see. Now here's the thing. Let me tuck everything. Let me tuck. Girl, let me get myself together, okay? Because you see what I did. When you are trying to Velcro, when you are trying to um, attach the Velcro sections, pin this up this is your best bet pin it up so it doesn't get in the way now let me make sure let me make sure i'm trying to tuck as much of this under and out of the way as possible are you good huh? listen okay y'all see that so boom Attack, wait, hold on. Attaching this. Oh, okay. Why is this? Let me get it. Okay. Okay, there we go. She's good. Okay. Might mess your hair up. That's too much. No. It's fine. For the purpose of this video and what I'm trying to do. Because see, one thing about me, I'm going to make it work. Okay, okay. Now at the top, so what I want to do is just make sure she's... I got a wig on under this, but I got this headband wig on too. Okay. Girl. Wigs on wigs, like stacks. Come on. I like that. Casey Bailey. Come on. Now, you know if you want to do a little headband. You know what I'm saying? Let me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's giving hairline. Okay. It's giving hairline. Come on. Hold up. Let me see. Let me do a little headband vibe. So you can take a scarf, right? You can take a scarf, a nice little scarf. And you can, y'all see what I did. You see, your good sis, your, your good sis got you, okay? I, I, know, I know what be going on, okay? So let me take, I'm going to put the hair back up. 
So you're a magician now. This is some new ish, okay? Tell the people I put a wig on top of a wig, okay? Okay, Leah, let me make sure. Boom. So I just folded this up. And I'm about to give a look. So just sit with me for a minute. Sit with me for a minute, please. Let me just... Mm. Again, I'm just trying to show an option of what you can do because I do this myself and I think it's super cute. Did she do a wig for the edges and then put a headband on? Yes, I did. Yep. Yes, I did. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me fix it. Let me fix it because this is it's giving. Now, y'all could let me know, like... Okay. Oh. <laughs> what do we have to say? What is there to say? I need a drink at this point. Because I definitely have on two wigs. And if, if I take this headband wig off, and my wig is messed up. I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that one back together. And we only 36 minutes in. I, 36 minutes in. That should let you know how fast you can install this. Girl, you know you're a magician now. You know. Drop mic. I know that. Come on. Talk. Look at this. Oh, I told you. I forgot. Well, if you, okay. So if you put mousse on your hair. You know, you put the mousse on. Yada, yada, yada. You put the mousse on, hit it, hit it with a little bit of oil, about a quarter size amount. I use jojoba oil. Let me let you see what's about the, the shine. It's the shine for me. It's the luster for me. It's the nourished look for me. Okay? We gotta get into it. Okay, but I'm feeling it. It's cold in Baltimore, child. Please, I might wear both. <laughs> there you go. Wear both. It's gonna keep you super warm. Look at this. Come on. But you're like pink. I want. I I need styling options. Her Drew, give me like two minutes. Give me like two minutes. I'm about to hit you with a style, cause you know. If you appreciate the magic I just did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Because I'm out, I'm out here putting in work. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting in work. That was crazy what I just did. Let me put this. I'm about to braid her. I'm about to braid her because this is, this is real life. You got to make it practical so people feel like they can do it themselves. I'm about to give you a braid. I'm about to give you a braid. And if by chance, come on. come on. The way I'm set up, and you know what? You could do this braid, let it sit overnight, wake up in the morning and take it out. I have two wigs on my head right now. This is absolutely crazy. Look. I don't. The way I'm, come on. Come on. Wow, this is, yo, come on. Like, the braid is adorable, yes. And then I'm trying to think, what else? Cause you know, we, we got the braid action cause you could do this. You could do this. When you get a headband wig, which do you think is better? Comb or the hair snaps? Comb or the hair snap. I don't you okay, so if you can help it, I honestly I would suggest you take uh the combs out of your wigs. You saw how I put the wig grip on. I had the lace front wig on, I put my hair in a bun, then I put a wig grip on. A wig grip on is gonna stop any movement. So I have a wig grip linked in the description box. Get you a wig grip because it's gonna change the game. And you can use a wig grip with a lace front, you can use it with the lace closure, you can use it with a headband wig. It works for all cap constructions. Can you do a have on? Oh, say, say less. 
Let me let me get a scrunchie. Let me get a scrunchie. See, I can we 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 in my office space, so you know I got everything. Let me see. Somebody asked me to do a, a, a bun. I'm about to get that going. I'm about to get this going. And again, I'm still using my detangling brush to help me get this hair together. Okay. You want to smooth it out. I'm going to smooth it. Okay. I'm going to smooth it out. Look at this. Okay. First off, I'm going to give you the ponytail so you can see what that looks like. So we, we got a ponytail. You want to do it to the side. You want to do it to the back. Let me fix this. Yep. Okay. But you want a bun. So we about to, we about to tie her. Oh, where's my bobby pin so I can put it right into place? Bun, bun life, because this is it. For my nurses out there, for my college students, keep it short, sweet, to the point. Okay. Let me just, let me fix everything in the back. Show you how the back is, what the back is giving you okay okay you know pull you can go in and kind of like pull the hairs down a little bit like so you cover everything back there but this is it's not 100 because i got a, a whole nother wig on y'all i got a whole nother wig on but come on how many inches is this that's a good question i didn't get that information I didn't get that one. It's probably 20, 22, 24 inches. It's, it's, a, it's more, I think it's between 20 and 24 inches. So to be honest with you, it's all good. So anything 20 and above, this is what you, this is around what you're gonna get, 20 to 22. It's probably giving 22, 24. Next time I'm like, okay, Perry, okay. Somebody said they want the braid to um to one side. Okay. I heard you. I heard you. Let's do a braid. Look at come on. So this scarf actually came from another company, but um uh I think my first wig offers headbands. And they also offer scarves. So def just check out their website because uh, probably like on the same page as the headband wig, they will have options available for you. Or just type in scarf on their website. Okay. Okay, see I'm doing a little braid. Let me. Again, this is an old wig. This is not a new wig. They didn't just send me this. I already have a video doing a full install with this. Okay. Okay, let me put a little... I don't, I don't like how that's looking. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. But I got my scrunchie because I'm getting ready to close it off. You are inspiring me so much right now. Stay inspired. You have options. I don't care what your hair care, I do care what your hair care concerns are, but I want you to know regardless of your skill level, regardless of, you know, how you believe, like, you know, you may be restricted because of your hair care concerns, you still have options. And I hope I showed you at least that you do, you still have so many options. So let me, let me hit this real quick. Boom. I came in. I have on two wigs. Yep, girl, I got on two wigs. Wait till I take this off. Come on. Do we do we see it? Did we see, this is cute. The braid, it gives something to me. Love you, girl. Love you too, Letitia. Thank you. 
Hey, Naya, Nia, I, I hope I'm saying that right. But get into it. A wig right here and another wig right there. Take a, take a, take a sip of wine with me because we just did that. I love your videos. Thank you, Doobie, Dubby. Hey, Auntie, how you doing, April? Y'all want me to take this wig off so you can see how the other wig looks? Let's see what's going on. You, you changing the game, honey. I hope. See how I covered the black band? Boom. Wow, I came in late. Yes, ma'am. Let me see. Okay. So I'm about to take this off. Again, you know, all under. I did all of this in 45 minutes or less. Come on. I styled this wig, put it on, installed it, styled it, did some little style inspo. Okay, to everybody coming in, yes, I do have one, two wigs. I'm about to take one off. But look what it's giving. Okay, this is the wig grip for everybody asking. This keeps your wig in place no matter if you have a um, headband wig, lace closure wig, lace front wig. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of glad that the hair kind of messed up a little bit because you know what? Then I can show you how I get myself together. All right. So my number one tip Okay, my number one tip because this is huge. This is really big. Look, let me take my earrings off because I don't. <laughs> let me put this to the side. So this is my this is my flat iron. This is by Babyliss. This is a Babyliss Pro. Everybody, you know about that brand. You got to get a carbon comb. A carbon fiber comb will allow you to do the comb chase method without damaging your comb. Again, for the wig that I'm wearing, because I just took off the headband wig. So this is Alexis. This is Alexis in a silky texture. Okay, this is what Alexis gives on site. Okay. So she gives on site. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We're going we're gonna to get her together. Yes, queen, innovate. I try, I try. Okay, let me break this down into two sections because I don't want to have a bend in my hair. You know, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of a bend in your hair. Again, comb chase method. I'm coming down. Okay, you see me? You see you might want to go buy a carbon fiber comb. You might want to do it. My first wig sells, and this is actually from my first wig. Okay? Don't sleep. How do you store your wigs? That's coming up next. Let me get this hair together. And we're going to talk about wig storage. Because one of the things that I like that my first wig does is because that is a website geared towards wig beginners. Okay? I didn't do the comb chase method. Let me do it again. That is a website geared towards beginners, and so you can purchase their wig kit. So their wig kit comes with alligator clips, it comes with bobby pins, it comes with um, a case to contain all of your little wig tools, and it also comes with a, um, a wig stand. So a wig stand, a lot of people don't know, their wig kit comes with a wig stand. So if I were someone who liked to have my wigs on display, I would use these to display them. This is an option because you can put the interior, like the interior portion of the cap and the hair can just lay. But they also give you a wig carrying case. So I'm going to show you what a wig carrying case looks like. So don't worry. Yes, let me let me do my comb chase because I don't want to forget that part. Okay. Okay. Now I want to get. I want to make sure this is this is all the way on point. This is why you need a hot comb, because your hot comb is going to remove all of those 
the bends in the hair from the hot comb. Use the back edge so you don't create any additional bends. Back edge. Okay. That's what that's why you gotta get that hot comb. I linked it for y'all. Make sure you get that. I'm I also purchased another one of these. Okay. Okay, someone is asking a question. The wig is too small for my head, and I'm usually a two. I'm, so that wig, that wig, the headband wig that I put on my head, I have a 23-inch circumference head, and I put that wig, the headband wig on, on top of this lace front wig. You have options. Don't sleep, okay? These The, the headband wigs have a lot more room than you may think. So, again, and if you are concerned about, like, the like having a more customized more snug fit but not uncomfortably snug just like a comfortable snug i would say get a wig grip get a wig grip to go along with your headband wig okay get a wig grip when somebody sent me a super chat i appreciate that so much who did who is that from thank you julian i hope i'm saying that right i appreciate you thank you so much for that happy holidays thank you so much oh AKE88. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as well. Do you sleep in your lace front wigs? Sometimes, yes. Yes. Because I make sure that my wigs fit and that I'm comfortable, you know, that I have a comfortable wig. So, one thing about me, I make sure that my wig actually can fit my 23 inch circumference head. And if I know I'm going to go to sleep, I will undo the elastic band. You can do that. So even if your unit comes with an adjustable elastic band, you can unsnap it. And oh, the sleep experience is the same. It's even better. Just get you, all you have to do is get a satin bonnet. Get a satin lined bonnet if you intend to sleep in your wig. Okay. Let me, um, hi, hon. Happy holidays, boo. Thank you so much, Shell. I hope I'm saying that right. The electric hot comb, what number should we use? So you're dealing with wigs. So I put mine on 20 because these things are typically programmed not to go above 450. Also, when you do make your purchase, if you don't want something that goes up to 450, read the specifications. But typically things are regulated that the, so that they don't exceed uh, 450 degrees. Um, be careful when you are using your hot comb, don't go near your lace because this will burn lace. So again, just keeping that in mind. Let me come on, y'all see my, I'm about to get her right back to how she was in the beginning. Like this is, I put on a wig, I had two wigs on and they both slay, okay. Oh my God. What did we do? Like what, this was, this was amazing. This was a this was a great great lab. And let me tell you. Invest in a paddle brush. The paddle brush is what's going look look at my We're back and we're back. We're back. You see, we're back. We're good to go. We are good to go. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Okay, guys, skills. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Who get somebody gave me a super chat? Let me see. Shell, thank you so much. She's dropping gems. Y'all be sure to like this video and support her channel. Thank you so much, Shell. I appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate the super chat. This is Alexis. Alexis, she eats because you see. Come on. Now you want to see storage. I got you. So this is my organizer for my office. And if you guys saw my office kind of video, I talked about like storage that's at the bottom, which you can't see. This right here. Even if you don't have a cube organizer, if you have a closet that has a shelf, you can stack these on one another. These have the hard, walls there they have a hard wall in them so they maintain their structure they're very sturdy and so let me just show you and if you don't if you don't want to use them you can fold them onto themselves so they they you take out the base because the base is what keeps them sturdy you remove the base and they collapse 
So, okay, and I like these because they have a little, a little string on them. So, these are wig carrying cases from my first wig. This is a wig carrying case from my first wig. So, if you purchase their free wig kit, one of the, you know, one of the two ways you can store your unit is using their wig stand or you can use the wig carrying case. So, because, you know, I'm wearing lace glue now, like once outside opens back up, if I want to go on vacation and I want to glue my wig down or I want to like, you know, be able to change my wigs because I got options. Girl, this one I'm going to put my wigs in here. Now, when you put your wigs into a wig carrying case, it's really important put a hairnet around it you might think what's the point of that but it's actually better so that it contains the hairs so you can zip your wig carrying case without it snagging so that's the purpose of you know keeping your hair in a hairnet especially if you have like a curly unit more textured unit with a little bit more volume but yeah and if you follow me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram i have it linked in the description but i just place my unit in the wig carrying case okay Pull it, you know, make sure it falls towards the beginning. Tuck it in. And then I just, I zip. Okay, make sure. Zip. Okay. So, in here you guys can see. So there is, so I actually have, this is a full lock wig. So it can actually hold a full lock wig. So y'all can, y'all can see the full locks. This is a big wig. So I keep these, these are really good and I keep it out of the way so you don't see it. I don't like clutter. So when I put my wigs away, they go in here, okay? They go in here. And also, let's say you don't wanna buy, you know, you don't want the free wig kit. These little satin satchels, put your, let me show you. I'm gonna put the headband wig into here. Okay, and the thing about when you use this sort of like satin case, so you don't really need a hairnet because it's satin. It's going to protect the hair, you know. There's no snugging, of, you know, snagging. Put the wig right in. Seal it off. If you want to, you can go the extra route and just tie a knot. Okay. Look at that. And I put it in my container so I make sure everything is nice and neat because I have a few units in here. I actually have, you know, some regular hair. But yeah, there's the, you know, so one, I would put two, and I like to fold them. So I'm putting that, I'm folding them in. I would put this one next. And this one is a little bit bigger because it's a full lock wig. And I would just put it right on in. Nobody will see this because it's tucked away in a cube or it could be tucked onto a shelf in a closet, okay? And nobody knows what's in here. So let me go put this, let me show you, let me remove this. So this is what it would, this is what it looks like. It was, it's right out of the way. It's out of the way. I like that. You don't see it, it doesn't look cluttered, like, you know, cluttered. It's easy. Okay, so that's how I store my wigs. Get you some bins, okay, collapsible bins. Okay, do we have any more questions? That was really, we did, we got a lot covered today. We did a lot, we did a lot. All under an hour too. I'm moving. My first wig, yes, they're in the building. If you can review Nuna, the pixie wig in human and synthetic, it would be greatly appreciated. Y'all want me to review Nuna? Let me see. Okay, I, I think I may have to do that. It's a little cold. Is that a short? It's a pixie wig. I mean, it's a little cold, but we might we might try that. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Thank you, Salisa. You are truly a blessing with all the gems. Thank you so much. I hope I'm saying that right, Salisa. Salisa, I, I don't want to mess it up. I hope you forgive me. Julie, thank you again. Excellent. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. Bless y'all and happy holidays. I appreciate the super chats so much. I can't believe I used to use those plastic zip bags. Let me show you. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. So, you know, 
mjewel31 sis you are the goat in this hair game love your channel thank you so much mjewel31 i appreciate you god bless you if you really want to because y'all know i told y'all it's a wig sale coming in january i dropped a little hint oh, just a little hint because i'm gonna finally i'm gonna get that i got i got all my stuff coming these are how i um package the wigs that i sell so they'll go in here you want to get the little organza same kind of concept as the satin okay we love this you can just pull it closed wigs go in here don't think oh it's too big you can get a whole wig up in here so these are really great if you want something a little bit more cute let me put a wig in here so you can see boom i got a whole red wig i'm about to show y'all let me find a hairnet that is something I gotta find. So this, this whole wig, I'm gonna put this away. Girl, these, you know, I'm gonna find it as well. Let me see. Um, let's see. Okay, I got a hairnet. Okay, hold on. One second, y'all. Let me, ooh, it's stuck okay it's not coming out but let me just show you you can take this wig take your wig and you can put it right in here this is a long wig let me just show you this is a long wig you see this this is a long wig it's okay to fold wigs onto themselves okay fold wigs onto themselves and then put them into the bag okay that's fine when you're storing a wig you're not intending to like wear it anytime soon look at come cute then you could girl this is cute enough you could put it right there you know what i'm saying but i, I don't like that so i can just put it away but look at this you can store your wigs come on store your wigs so again if you don't like this my first wig offers a free wig kit where you get a wig carrying case, you get a wig stand, and you get alligator clips, which are these. These are super important. And um, let's say, like, you know, let's say you get a little hot. The reason why I like the alligator clips, they just contain the hair so much better. So look, you want to put your hair up? you like, oh, I'm over it. My hair is up. It's out the way. I don't have to worry. Okay. do you wash your wigs before storing i'm not even gonna hold you sometimes i don't sometimes i don't i'm not even gonna lie to you and you know what here's the thing i t i remove a lot of my wigs while i'm in the shower so the layer of product that sits on it it's being rinsed off because i wash you know i remove my units with a little bit of shampoo and hot water so i'm like basically cleansing the product off okay Girl, that's it. Do you make full lace wigs? I I don't make full lace wigs. Um, will I be selling them? Yes. Can I straighten a human curly wig? Almost definitely. You know what? I think I need to have another one of these. What y'all think? I should have another one of these and show you how versatile curly headband wigs are. Because you have a lot of options. I told you guys you can wear curly. I'm a, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a live. I'm going to do one side curly. And we're going to wand curl. And we're going to do like a little. Because you know I like to layer. I love to layer hair. So um, what am I looking for? Ooh. Mm. Oh, and another thing. So let's. I like that idea. Okay, we can, we can do that. And so one of the things that I love about getting super long units is that, you know, over time, those ends, they're going to get a little scraggly. Mine look cute. They look fresh because I did kind of hit them with my hair shears. These are, these are high grade quality shears. I linked them in the description box. You will cut yourself. So you need to be very careful. You will cut yourself with these. These are very good. They are incredibly sharp. Be, I have cut myself. It doesn't take much. These are sharp. So if you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I layer. These are really good. Are you, are you going to have, are you going to have work-friendly wigs for sale? Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you something. The Bob wigs that I have um, for 
for y'all. Um, it's a lot of bobs. It's a lot of bobs. Um, and also when I finally do this sale, so I'm going to have special coupon codes. So whoever is the first to use it, you could get $50 off. You could get $30 off. You get $40 off. Mm-hmm. Because some of these wigs I'm going to be practically giving away. So it's all about who gets it first. Kenneth, hold on, let me, let me see. How do you wear your hair underneath your wigs? Straight back braids, braids, braids right under this. Super important. Braids are the best. Um, and let me just tell you something. So I talked about, I, um, I didn't link this in the description box, but I'll put it later. You need to get jojoba oil because five minutes before I do my, um, install my wigs, I massage my scalp with jojoba oil for five minutes before before I put my wigs on stimulate that scalp do not forget to stimulate your scalp just because you're wearing a wig it doesn't mean you need to forget about your hair I heat this up I apply it to my scalp massage I put a timer on for five minutes massage my scalp and then I proceed with my install process that's why I like wearing braids because I can directly target my scalp so I'm nourishing the scalp I'm stimulating blood flow before I go in and install my wigs hold on thank you Alicia how do I fix the tangling at the nape of my curly wigs so here's my thing so with curly wigs and i found that if you um do, okay so when you're washing do you co-wash your unit that's my first thing do you co-wash your unit because that's really important and when you are co-washing it are you using a detangling brush because I, you might find that like the ends of your hair are good but what curly hair is doing, it's curling onto itself. So you have to be very like diligent about using a detangling brush and detangling from the ends, working your way up to the wefts or the root of the curls. And also, tell me more about the quality of the hair because with depending on the quality of the hair, you may find that um, it, it will tangle at the nape or it will just tangle in general. But you also need to get a good conditioner. And one of the conditioners I recommend for curly units especially, Suave Almond Shea Butter Conditioner. You need to apply this and detangle while this product is on your hair and allow it to allow curly wigs to air dry upside down. A lot of people don't talk about that. Allow curly wigs to dry upside down. Curls will look so different. Um, and then they don't tangle on themselves as they dry. Hope that makes sense. Um, hi, darling. This is uh, yes. This okay. So this is Alexis. I'm sorry. This is Alexis. It's a lot of comments coming, and I just want to like. This is Alexis LFW016. This is in the silky texture. If you've seen the yakky texture, I'm gonna post it on my stories later tonight. The yakky texture is amazing. It is so. It's top tier. Like when I wear that one. But silky is for like you know what I'm saying. You know uh luxurious yaki is luxurious too i don't it just depends on what you want you know like what kind of look do you want this is gonna lay super flat with the yaki you're gonna get a super flat look but it's gonna be a little bit more texture to it so it depends on what you want um and don't forget the headband wig that i was doing this tutorial that is maria super great definitely look into her y'all saw i put her on i installed her with this wig on and everything so Yes, it's you. All the units I'm reviewing or showing you guys and demonstrating, they're human. Will this work for synthetic curly hair? Mm, probably not. Synthetic synthetic fibers are don't have nearly as much give. The cuticle is not isn't doesn't have a cuticle. Human hair units have a cuticle. It's not a live cuticle, but still, that is what is going to allow you to have more like a styling range. You can actually style your hair. Your hair will respond to you know heat styling or you know like curl def defining products or a curl defining regimen. Um, can you link the shears with the gaps? Wait, can you link the shears? Can you link the shears with the gaps for those inexperienced too, please? Okay, I have to go back and update everything, but the shears are linked. But I will go back and update it. Steam your scalp too. Yes, very very important. I'm actually purchasing a steamer. I'm gonna. I just gotta do it and just not talk about it. I'm gonna get a steamer. Y'all are gonna hear more about that. I keep my wigs in a ziploc bag. Is that okay? 
I'm going to tell you why I don't like storing wigs in a Ziploc bag. And I want you to hear me because if you can't be, if you aren't certain that your wig is 110% dry, when you put a wig into a plastic bag, so plastic is still very breathable, um, but it can harbor a lot of moisture. You want something that's more of a fabric base, a material base, uh, you know, not so much cotton satin is really good an organza type of thing or a wig carrying case you want breathability but you don't want it at the expense of like where it can harbor bacteria so i'm not a fan of ziploc bags because if you're anything like me when you remove your wig it may have moisture and then if you think it's dry it may not be dry and you're putting it into a bag where it could potentially harbor bacteria so i'm not a fan of a ziploc bag um what's the worst case scenario if you have a satin pillowcase, let me tell you something. We can make it work. Get a satin pillowcase. If you if if that's the thing that you can find that's most accessible, that's most affordable, get a satin pillowcase. Period. You can get a satin pillowcase. Put your wig in there. Make sure it's dry. But again, there's a little bit more breathability with a satin case. And you know, just do your thing. Okay. Um, Pink. I'm not on social media. How can I find it about the release of your wig? Whenever I do. Whenever I do a wig release, I release information across all platforms. But uh, the bulk of my information will be on YouTube because that's where the bulk of my following is. Um, any, any special discount codes, anything, any sales will be announced specifically on YouTube. Um, yeah. But I'm always going to be fair. I know everybody doesn't have Instagram, so don't, don't worry about that. But I got y'all. Do you have an updated video installed for Valentine Malaysian? Ooh, help me, help me remember what that one is. Help me remember what's, let me look at my, um, let me see if I can. Let me, I'm gonna look up what you said. Um, that's not coming up for me. I can't find it. I don't know if you have, if you follow me on Instagram, definitely let me know because then maybe I can figure out what unit you're talking about. But, um, let me see. Okay, hold on, let me, sorry, ooh, let me, um, okay. Hey Pink, do you, how do you prevent short wigs from raising in the back? What do you mean short wigs from raising in the back? Talk to me more about that. Short wigs from raising in the back. Talk to me more about that. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta pin a comment. Okay, I had to pin a comment so y'all can see. Um, hi, Pink. How do you dry a wig upside down? Respect. Um, let me go show you. Um, okay. Girl, some of, some of my wigs are a little tattered. I'm not even going home. You know what here? Okay. So this is, this is, this is a wig, right? I don't, when I hang this wig to dry, I'm not going to hang it with the lace frontal upward. The lace frontal needs to be closest to the floor. You need to be hanging your wigs by these um by these elastic the elastic or the adjustable straps at the back. This is how you hang your wig. Lace frontal to the floor. And you should be the adjustable straps where the nape is. That's where you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the curls will fall this way. You notice a lot of times when you let it dry this way, it's not dry, it doesn't dry as fast. Put your wig up to, I I dry this upside down. It's the best. It's the best. Dry your wigs upside down. Talk shows out without all the support like I dropped a tear. This is what it's all about. I'm proud. Oh, thank you. Short wigs tend to stick out in the back like a flare skirt. Okay. So my question to you. So when you wear a bob wig, are you making sure that the hair that's at the nape is as flat as possible? 
are you making sure that it is as flat as possible? Because if you have an instance where maybe you have a braid running across your nape, that can be conflicting with how flat the adjustable band lays or the combs at the back. Remove the combs at the back. Um, get comfortable removing combs, especially the combs at the back. I don't like combs near the edges or the nape, so I do remove those. But um, not a bob, it's a pixie wig. I'm just raising up in the back. Is, is this synthetic or is this human hair? Um, and so if you're dealing with human hair, hit it with a little bit of mousse. And if you know about Sanic neck strips, so you, even if it's a synthetic wig or a human hair wig, take a little bit of like, if it's a synthetic wig, take a little bit of water. If it's a human hair wig, take a little bit of mousse and use a Sanic neck strip. Cause sometimes you need to go back and set hair. It's okay to set hair. I find it happens to both. I'm going to have to look into that. I've never had that. Are you sleeping in your wigs? Are you sleeping in the wigs? Let me know. Um, can anyone answer my question? What was your question here, Crowned? Like, I'm trying to find your question. Um, how did my question get missed? Okay, I see that. Let me see. I'm scrolling to find her question. Sometimes it's, I so enjoy your work as a stylist, especially for other people. When are we going to see you expanding your male clientele, regardless of orientation? Time for our guys truly, truly groom. Well, I mean, I've always been about that. Um, But this is not a time to like expand clientele. I've had people reach out to me to do wigs, but like I can't. This is not a time to kind of like be traveling and like styling for one. In 2021 or like around summer potentially, but it depends on how everything is doing. I wouldn't feel right building clientele at this time. Um, but I'm always down to do, I do anybody here, it doesn't matter. Um, so it really doesn't matter. I work people who like have alopecia, extreme concerns, work people who have head full of hair, help people grow their hair. It doesn't matter to me, so I'm open. Can we talk about synthetic wigs? What's a good synthetic wig to start for beginners? um i just did um a video on my channel about that so look at that video and then if you need help then come back to me because i just i just did a video like talking about all that type of stuff um okay so let me see but yes so so back to back to the topic this is Alexis LFW016. Okay, she is a longer unit, 20 plus inches, but that's fine. She is everything six inches deep, parting into the crown. And what I love, you know, I'm the customization queen. I love to do a little bit of tweezing, do my adult swoops, and the hair just lays beautifully. If you don't want a middle part, you don't have to have a middle part. If you're a fan of like the flip over method, you can do that as well. You And because this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal, let me show you. You have options. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me do a side part. You can do a side part because, okay, scalp. It's giving scalp. Okay? So you have options. Okay. Oh, I love it when the hair flows like that. Let me see. Let me fix this. But again, yeah, you have a ton of styling options. Pink, if you can tell you are a mood and you are really evolving and we are here with you, the life is the love is real. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You see that? Again, we have you don't see that, you don't see a track. Okay. That's scalp. So 13 by 6 lace frontal. This is what it's all about. This is when you want versatility, when you want you know the ability to create your own hairline and like i said what did i do with the like i put the what did i do with the headband wig i forgot wow i don't remember what i did did i put it in the bag i may have when it comes to, let me let me figure out what i did oh i put it i know where i did it Let's talk about the headband wig again. 
so here we go this is the headband wig this is maria just so we can comparison so you can see pulled it right out the bag and she still pops okay curl definition come on using mousse using mousse we get these curls i put her in a braid a low braid a side braid a high bun okay let me see you know don't lose the hope you know i'm gonna just drape it so you can see but like you you have options you know you have options don't act like you don't have options okay lots of options so this is alexa alexis and this is maria taste pink please put, please let people know just because it is human hair it will not start to grow but it will fall out if not taken care of properly that's so big you have to learn how to wash your wigs um and if you're always tweezing your wigs over time you're going to find that your lace frontal starts balding your lace closure starts balding if you don't know how to tweeze hair if you're still trying to learn how to take care of human hair maybe start with a headband wig like maria and you can get these this is about probably like 22 24 inches if this is too long for you because again i put it on my head you know it's about the same length as alexis but again, can we purchase the wig bag separately or only with the kit? That's a good question. So I, I don't know if my first wig is still in the chat. Please, um, can they just purchase the wig carrying case or do they have to purchase the whole wig kit? Hopefully they're in here. But honestly, I'm telling you right now, I think that you should get the wig kit because you get a wig stand, you get a wig carrying case, you get alligator clips. The alligator clips are these. You get bobby pins. It's, you get so much more for your money. But typically, there is a code so you can get the wig kit for free. So um, make sure you check the website, okay? Help me, please. Let me know the ombre wig you just put up the name. Um, the ombre wig. The ombre wig. Oh, are you talking about from my most recent? Um, that is from um, RPG Show so but i i completely revamped that i styled that i cut it i layered it i did all of that myself so it looks completely different from the original so that was just me you know uh, playing in my wigs it's in my cart pink period okay that's it that's make sure um hi love you may put okay um my first wig is saying that you can purchase the wig bag separately perfect okay so that's it so and let me show you the wig carrying case so you guys know This is what this is what I want you guys to have because this is the best. This is, this is the safest way to store your wigs, and just because it's like f has your wig flat, it still maintains the structure of the cap. You put it in the hairnet before you put it in the carrying case, and it's perfect. And it can fit all your long units. I told you guys I was able to store a full lock wig in mine, so they hold up. Um. Every wig I have purchased from my first wig comes with a wig kit except the wax stick. Good question. Um, good on point. Good point. Good point. Um, yes, I'm telling you guys right now. Um, where is it? Where is it? Okay. One of the, if you order a wig from my first wig, I need you to get the wax stick. Because I'm coming with some information on how to get your units to lay this flat. But you're going to need a wax stick. You're going to need to, if you want to get your wigs flat like this, you need to buy a wax stick for my first wig. Let me show you what it looks like. Mine is all beat up because I, I actually, I use mine. You need this wax stick. It goes on clear. None of that white residue. Smooth. If you want to get ready, because when I do another straight wig, it might be this one you and if you buy a wig from me it's gonna be on flat flat okay i'm just letting you know she's gonna be very flat you are standing at your feet oh yeah okay okay my thank you just added two new units to my cart. she added two new units to the cart. let's we love to see it we love to see it but 
any final questions before we get out of here because i think we covered a lot we did a lot in today's video i want to answer some more questions so maybe like two or three more questions and we could we could, we could wrap it up if you have a wig with clips in it how do you put it on right or take the clips out if you have a wig with clips in it do you mean like combs or like when you have a u-part wig and it has the clips um because you can remove um let me see I may have it here. You need one of the things that if you are someone who wants to remove combs or clips, you need to get a seam ripper. I know it may sound crazy, but seam rippers are the safest way to remove combs and or clips from your wig. It's the easiest way. It is a sharp, it's it's like a sharp curved, you know instrument that helps to just like remove those threads and you don't mess up the structure of the la the integrity of the lace can you answer my question about the wig you posted on december 8th are you going to be selling it december 8th y'all be asking I, I don't know what wig i posted on december 8th what wig did i post on december 8th let me see what wig did i post on december 8th let me see what wig did I post on December? I'll be trying to figure it out. Okay, that's not December 8th. Oh, um, no, I don't sell that wig myself. Um, Whenever that goes live, I do make notifications so that you guys can go buy it, but I don't sell that myself. Yeah, so to answer your question, the unit that I did on December 8th, that i do not sell but when it goes live or it becomes available i do notify you guys because it's amazing pink you are killing that straight look you think so mm -mm 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 -mm. thank you um i want to try your wig in 2021 but i don't want it to look too wiggy if that makes sense that's that's definitely and i'm not a pro like you start off with a bob wig I remember when my first wig first reached out to me to do a, th a review. I think it was for a bob wig. I think it was. And it was for a bob wig. Middle part, middle part bob wigs are the best if you were a beginner because that's where I started with like really getting comfortable with human hair wigs. So think about, think of Alexis, but think of her a little bit shorter. Like you, you see, you know, like a, a length like this. Come on, like that could be a. Oh, this is a this this is a perfect. You don't have to straighten it too much. Come on, think about getting a middle part bob. You don't have to worry about angles and asymmetry. Just come through with something like this. This is a perfect length for a beginner. Mm. 12, 14 inches. That's it. Thanks for the tips and for being approachable and honest. Of course. Of course, I didn't always do wigs like this, so don't ever think I came a long way. Taste me, do you prefer straight or curly wigs, color or black wigs? You know I'm not going to hold you, if I can be honest with you. Um, It depends on my vibe. Like, am I trying to be, you know, am I trying to be like extra? Because, honey, this is this is extra. I would love this, but I love a nice curly unit. My Malaysian curly wig um, from my first wig, the 5x5 lace closure. I just posted about that unit on my Instagram. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love curls. I love volume. So, and that's why something like this, this is so my, this is so my speed because it has volume and it has texture. But um, I don't know. I can't, I don't, I don't know. But I love burgundy on me. I love burgundy. Y'all love when I wear burgundy and I just, girl... I love burgundy. It's everything. Fell in love with your channel, but what is the best hair grade to buy for under 200? I'm going to tell you right now, Indian Remy can be promising. Um, Indian Remy, but also because um, sometimes whether it's virgin hair, when you do like a certain price cap, sometimes you're not dealing with virgin hair. So um and there's, there's grades like 9a you know it gets really convoluted but um indian remy can be really good um malaysian hair would be a little bit more expensive raw hair is the most expensive so 
that's like complete but indian Remy can be promising or if it may not be it won't it won't say virgin hair so then you have the likelihood of it being a little bit more affordable but when you see virgin hair it's not processed in any way it's going to be a little bit more expensive hi i love your channel thank you hollywood girl you got me shopping <laughs> yes you know i'm so afraid to wear certain hair colors let me tell you something the moment you the moment you embrace because burgundy looks so good on us burgundy copper of course you know what but jet black can look really good because it just it looks so full but this is a this is great and you know what you know what i like about this wig for someone who you know what i'm saying you want to lay your wig down in the front like you want your hairline to be amazing but then you just want to have that that air dry kind of bed head look don't don't blow dry it just let it air dry and wear the hair like that have it had a, it'll have like a nice little body wave to it i've done that with wigs too when you don't want to be bothered it looks so good i think it's partly the confidence to just rock and you look yes i'm on the website now getting the wig bags come on stock up on your wig bags it's 2021 we are storing our units away from all the chaos we are keeping them safe we are protecting our investments because if you purchase a wig especially for my first wig that is an investment protect your investment so it can last you because this wig i've had this for a while um i think my my very first wig my first collaboration with my first wig i still have that unit i keep my units because i'm good to my units I'm, I'm i'm good i'm good pink will you put on a pair of your glasses with your hair oh okay that's a good question let me get some glasses Because I know sometimes people need, they need to see, they need to see the vision. Boom. Okay, let me, let me give you a vibe. Because you thought glasses was going to change it, but glasses enhance the sleigh. You get what I'm saying? You see what I did there? Or maybe these are too big because you're like, well, I don't have glasses that big. Okay. I see you. Let me put on some simple clear ones. Boom. Talk to me. Talk to me. They work. It doesn't matter. You make the wig. The wig doesn't make you. Right? Come on. Purr. We... Purr. That's it. Okay. So there we go. Don't know if you mentioned selling wigs. Didn't read comments, but will the Bob wig buy a sensational with the flip over method? Um, yeah, I'm gonna have some stuff. I might be giving some of that stuff away, so make sure you follow me on instagram i gotta get rid of some things i'm giving away stuff at this point so stay tuned stay tuned could you um pink have you ever wore a fedora hat on your wigs girl i don't have my hat up in here you gonna make me go get a hat you gonna make me go get a hat Yo, can y'all wait like two seconds so i can go get a hat Y'all can wait so I go get the hat because I'm going to get you wet. I'm going to show you a look. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be right back. Okay. Thank you for being patient okay the only thing here's my thing so i don't when i wear a hat i won't put makeup on my forehead because i don't want to mess it up so this is this is this, this is the hat this is a hat right here okay this is the bomb oh, come on wow did you see it because i oh my god did you see it? Because I see it. Okay. Okay. Talk to me. Like, okay. You know, you might have the hat here when you take it off, but I'm positioning it so it doesn't sit on my makeup because I don't want to mess up my hat. But yes. 
options 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 let me tell you something you can you ever heard of tillys you need to go to tillys right now and you can get hats like this tillys t-i-l-l-y-s tell the girls i put them on oh my god julie thank you so much you are so kind i appreciate you for the super chats again yes god bless you so go to tillys tillys.com see when you come to my lives you get everything everything um but yeah that's it we did it we did it we did it y'all we did it y'all we did it we did a great thing so this is just to let you know you can wear wigs with glasses you can wear wigs on top of wigs you can wear wigs with a braid a bun you can wear them air dried textured straightened whatever you want see i'm gonna have to hang up on you <laughs> But um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was fun. This was fun. We're going to have to do this again. I, I get the most love when I do these. So maybe the next one I do, I don't know what the next one I should do. We got to figure that out. But um, yeah, I got a phone call coming soon. So yes love y'all thank you so much special thank you to my first wave for collaborating with me yes this was a sponsored video but it's all y'all saw everything y'all you saw everything i'm only gonna share it if it's real if it's not it won't be on my channel so i've been working with them for years years and so uh, this is a given um and i've done unsponsored work for them when i first started working with my first wig it was unsponsored because i wanted to make sure i could truly recommend it so um pink i can't find maria um i have the link in the description box so don't if you want links to the wigs everything is in the description box okay okay all right i see y'all in the next one take care of yourself happy holidays and be safe uh for the upcoming new year bye y'all